Arrival as on veal, prototype of the dedicated ride hail vehicle at TC Session Mobility. Arrival, the UK-based commercial electric vehicle company, unveiled the first prototype of its proposed built electric vehicle for ride hailing on TechCrunch Session Mobility on Thursday. The company, which is perhaps best known for its potential revolutionary goal of building multiple automated microfactories to produce vehicles regionally and locally rather than one big factory line, Arrival is building these vehicles in partnership with Uber in the UK. Arrival's president, Avinesh Rugabug, who joined TechCrunch Christine Korosek on stage on Wednesday, also shared that it signed a memorandum of understanding with Breathe, a UK car subscription company, to make its ride hail vehicle available to drivers. In addition to selling vehicles through Breathe, Arrival will also sell the vehicles through its own channels, said Rugenberg. Noting that the vehicle isn't limited to ride hail, the partnership with Uber was first announced a year ago. An arrival revealed the final design of the boxy yet sleek electric vehicle, which looks like something between a small van and a hatchback. At the end of 2021, although Rugenberg said the design has changed somewhat since then, Arrival has previously said it hoped to begin production on the third quarter of 2023 at its Charlotte, North Carolina factory. We partnered with Uber and we have Uber drivers coming in and giving us feedbacks on the type of vehicles that they want to use and really are going through the aches and pains. What happens is you have to buy a vehicle that is not designed for ride sharing at all. So you buy a regular vehicle, retail vehicle, and then you use it for earners. It's an asset to you as an Uber driver, but it's not really built around it. It's not easy to clean, not easy to maintain. The way you think about adding new experience to that is actually quite limited. Now the vehicle itself, which Arrival says has over 200 miles of range, was built with feedback from over 100 Uber drivers. This was said by CEO Rugenberg, and it shows in design, huge windows and a massive windscreen, optimized visibility for drivers. As does a short front overhang and an angled nose, the material Arrival used on the interior, as well as the shape of the interior components, are all designed around being easy to clean as quick as possible, according to Rugenberg. So in addition, while there is a touchscreen near the steering, that plugs into Uber back end or at any other ride hailing organization. Arrival design is all about simplifying the sheer amount of digital equipment that driver said is distracting and confusing. Now, additionally, the passenger experience is also taken highly into account with plenty of space for luggage, plenty of legroom and high ceiling moonroof that provides a feeling of airiness. So you can see for yourself from these images, you can obviously see that the cabin space in the back has got plenty of legroom, which is good. It's got high ceiling, the seats are simplified, the entire interior design is simplified and it just gives you more space overall for passengers. So the footprint is almost of a Gulf, but it's got the seating room of a Maybach, said Rutenberg. The reason for that was mobility inside cities where a lot of riders are occurring. So having a vehicle that's a little bit smaller footprint with a right amount of space for drivers and passengers was critical. Rutenberg pointed to the fact that form follows functions with the arrival car. For example, arrival optimizes for space with design choice, like allowing the passenger seats to fold down and put in all the components like drivetrain in the center down the fully flat floor of the vehicle. He also said we use new composite materials. So we use polypropylene glass fiber instead of metal, said Rutenberg. No metal stamping, no paint shops, 100% recyclable material, and then we write off the software. So we get all the data and the code even from the components level. So being able to collect data from the back end of the vehicle is one of Arrival's biggest selling points, says Rukenberg. We noted that all the information about every component of the vehicle can go to the driver so they can operate their vehicle better and learn how their driver behaviors affect things like battery life and total cost of ownership. The data will also be shared with Uber so the ride hailing company can better optimize its fleet and of course back to arrival so the company can get insights into the performance of things like its battery management system because there's two ways of communication between arrival and the vehicles and the EV startup can use information about how different components 
are performing and if necessary swap in and out damaged hardwares or simply upgrade it to keep it up with innovation of tomorrow. Arrival is talking about swapping in and out hardwares to keep it updated. If there's new hardwares that's available for vehicles, they would just swap it out and install new hardwares into the vehicle, giving them new software, new performance. And this is brilliant. This is what I think all EV companies should be aiming to do. It's ideal if you can not just upgrade the software, but also upgrade the soft, but also upgrade the hardware by swapping out the hardware material and computers, graphic chips, and everything that goes with it. So Rival expects to produce 400 to 600 van plugins, low production of buses in the second half of 2022. According to the company Q1 2022 earning report, the company also note that Arrival has collected a total of 143,000 non-binding letters of intent and orders for its vehicles as of May, including the commitment from UPS to buy up to 10,000 vehicles from the startup in the United States and in Europe. So this is brilliant. I like the fact that Arrival is showing off their EV car because I think this car will have a big play in the world of self-driving ride hailing taxiing and electric vehicles overall so thank you for watching subscribe to see more and i will see you in my next video